so I have this um, little jar in my bathroom and it has a skeleton of a fairy in it. And I decided to set up a little still life and uh, think about the fairy and, you know, what maybe it looked like before she died. Because there's no holes in the, um, there's no holes in the lid at all. So, like, I don't know how she got in there, but she must have been trapped. And then, uh, and then whoever trapped her forgot to put holes in a lid and she died. I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> like, someone forgot to put holes in the lid of the jar and then, and I'm dying. And yesterday, the work I was doing was kind of like, don't really think about it, just kind of make it. And today, we were kind of looking at, you know, make a more finished drawing. Um, take a still life. And I was supposed to go to... Um, to like a uh, what do you call it, a flea market or something and, and do it that way but I really struggle lately leaving my house so I just took a little picture of something that was already here and I'm doing that instead um, like should I make a lower wing here I feel like the two upper wings just kind of they say enough don't they really I mean she looks pretty pissed I should I'll bring this up a little closer so you can uh, get ink in my hands <laughs> I'll bring this up a little closer so you can you can see her little face Pretty ticked off about being in that jar. Um, let that dry for a sec. I've already got ink everywhere because I happen to be a messy, messy person. Then I went over an area that wasn't dry yet. Everything's wiggling. Everything's wiggling. Everything's blue. That's okay. This is not like I'm not publishing this drawing or anything. It's not going to be a published piece. Just gotta set it up for an assignment, so we'll see how bad I did in a minute. sit here and wait for things to dry. <sighs> That's a little better. 
last good eraser. Good enough for now. We're not gonna. We're not here for perfection. I think a fairy that's angry probably has reddish blonde hair. Probably, probably has reddish hair. This fairy. Yeah, it's pretty PO'd. No, it's actually... I was erasing my pencil lines, um, and I didn't wait for the ink to dry. Because uh, I didn't feel like waiting that long. And I should have, but I, I got impatient. I'm not very patient today. Um... I should bring out the jar with a dead fairy in it that like inspired this, shouldn't I? I have it in my in my bathroom. She is really mad because apparently whoever put her in the jar did not pull coals. So no, it's not fair to her at all. Really? You put her in there? Probably some little small rotten kid who doesn't think about other people, just herself. Put her in this jar without any without any air holes. What did I brush onto the paper? Oh, <laughs> I I don't like to put my fingers on the on the paper like when I'm brushing off eraser stuff. I don't like to put oils on the watercolor paper because the um the oils in your finger can make the watercolor act weird so whenever i erase lines i use a brush to brush off the um to brush off the uh, eraser bits um so i'm not touching my paper with the fingers the oil fingers i made i should have waited a little while because the uh uh the ink wasn't quite dry but this is just it's just a homework assignment. It's it doesn't it's not gonna get graded or anything really. It just it just needs to be done, so I'm doing it. Um, and let's see here. Got some little mushrooms over here. I started this on Twitch, but nobody was watching because you know. Most of my friends aren't gamers, and they don't have Twitch accounts, so it's just better to do it here, I think. It just makes more sense. I could be wrong, but, yeah. And you're welcome, Michelle. Yeah, it's pretty important, and I know you use a lot of watercolors and stuff. Um, but, yeah, making sure you don't get that that oil from your hands on the paper because it the paper kind of even though it has sizing and everything it's it it doesn't like the oils from your hands and it it won't stick right if you get oils on the paper and this assignment um was actually i was supposed to go out to like a flea market and like take pictures of weird things and then come back and make a uh, a little illustration uh, out of some still lifes but I struggle leaving my house lately so what did the fairy say to the mushroom I don't know you're grading it <laughs> thanks <laughs> somebody needs to 
What did the fairy say to the mushroom? I don't, I don't know. No, and I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't have to do this live. I just, I don't, I'm in a bad spot, so I thought maybe it would help me to do something else besides sit around and be mad about my body, be depressed. it's not very helpful I suppose I'm a fun guy <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. Uh, yeah I don't know I'm I just I kind of just got a wild hair the other day and decided that I my work has no direction I don't go anywhere with it I just make stuff and and I have no plans no no direction and i'm kind of tired of it and i don't work well without like deadlines or 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 like a, a theme and i don't know I, I just decided that perhaps it was time to you know find a real direction decide where you know where am i really taking my work where am i going with it what is my what is my ultimate goal you know what what do i want to say you know yeah yeah the depression is pretty annoying and it gets tiresome and i don't know what to do about it and um yeah, I totally feel you. Uh, I'm just really tired. I, I want things to stop. Nothing seems to be working. Uh, it's annoying. I will bring that jar out with the dead fairy in it momentarily. I just don't want to quit painting at the moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna run into a, a spot where I have to quit anyway because things need to dry. But you know. And I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with it. Just seeing what happens. And as far as the illustration stuff goes, I'm like, well, I mean, it can't hurt, right? I'm just, I'm learning a, a new direction, a new way to, to think. And, you know, can it, can it really hurt to try to find a, a way to use my art with a, a more definitive uh, plan of attack and uh, you know more of a message and less of it just here I make stuff and I made this other thing and this other thing and this other thing and I but I have no like there's no cohesiveness to my work it's just all over the place and I don't know Nobody wants me to, to go into. Sh they don't know what to expect from me because it's, it's it's there's no it's never the same. There's no consistency. There's no. It's just all over the place. Like my brain, you know. <laughs> my brain's a little all over the place. And you know when someone's going to go look at my shop or my Instagram and they just. They just see work that's just like everywhere. I mean, why would they want to give me a show? They can't. They can't. They can't envision a show with, you know, cohesive work in it. It totally makes sense. I'm not blaming anybody, and, and I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm a bad person or a shit artist or any of that. I'm just saying I need direction. I function better with direction always have so why would this be any different you know I messed up right there but maybe I can cover it up and I, I forgot that I had a yeah that worked just fine um 
So yeah, I guess I'm just saying I, it was it was time for me to. And I've been painting on and off for like what ten years now. Wow. Watercolor for about probably five maybe. I'm thinking it's been about five years. And I really don't have. And I don't want to say I don't have anything to show for it because I'm I'm always. I'm, you know, except for when I've been like depressed for a long time, I have work to show for it, but there's just not a lot going on. There's no, there's no like, oh yeah, that's the girl that does this or that's the girl that does that. It's just, there's nothing there, you know? And I want there to be something there. I want, I want to... I, I, I want to have something to be known for something that whenever you see my work it's like oh yeah it's it's this style or this thing that she does or or lines or that book or something you know something's got to give something's got to give and uh so why not try it yeah why not let's see here do i want her to have like I mean, what color skin does she have i only have her skeleton what color skin <laughs> i mean she's kind of purpley Yeah, I think maybe she's kind of purpley, like a little lilac-y, purpley fairy. She is so mean, man. Those, she's so mad. Those hands on the hips right there, just really. Yeah, she's pretty ticked off. Not happy at all, this girl. Of course, I wouldn't be either stuck in a jar. I don't think there's hair on my brush or something like dog hair or fuzz or something. I don't know. And I don't know what's timing out. You guys tell me I've got like some kind of buffering symbol and I have no idea why. Um, just, just, you know what? I guess it's me. You know, I, other people can see something in my work and, and I just don't right now. And I feel like, you know, if, if I'm not happy with it, if I don't feel like it's in a direction that I need it to go or in a direction I expected it to be going at this time. I mean, to me, that's probably really important, right? I mean, I'm the one that has to feel good about my work. I'm the one that has to be able to look at it and go, yeah, I, I, I'm confident in my, in what I'm doing. And I, and I feel like, you know, I, it, it edifies me. If it's not edifying me, then what am I doing it for? If it's not helping me feel better and helping me deal with my daily life, then, then I've stopped creating for the reason I started creating for, which was to make me feel better. <laughs> I was a totally, like, absolutely selfish, um, endeavor to begin with um absolutely yeah it was totally a selfish thing to get into art I, I was dealing with a lot of cancer i was dealing with health issues i still deal with health issues because i still don't know what's wrong with me but i mean we're getting there but you know it's not it's not exactly uh and it's a known unknown, I guess, at this point. 
a known unknown. And so, yeah, I feel like my paper's fuzzy and I don't know why. It's kind of weird. What color is her dress? Yeah, I noticed that you haven't done a whole lot lately, and I wasn't sure, like, can I ask you, you know, Michelle, why you were that, you were there? I figured it was none of my damn business. <laughs> so I didn't ask. Um, maybe I should have. Maybe that was remiss of me to assume everything was fine and, and not bother asking, you know? I get so hung up in my own bullshit. I forget that, you know, other people are struggling and, and you know, I don't reach out as much as I should because I don't want to bother people because I can get really, like, intense and I don't want to be intense. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh my God, why are they still bothering me? Why are they talking to me? <laughs> why are they talking to me? All right. I wanted to make her have red cheeks because when you're angry, sometimes your face gets flushed, but that's just a little much, isn't it? Let's soak some of that up. Her little nose, maybe her little nose is red too, because she's just so mad and right above her eyebrows, right above there. And we'll soak a little bit of it up so it's just not so strong. Yeah, she is, look how mad she is. Wow, she is just pissed off. Who the hell locked her in here? It's not really cool at all. Her little kneecaps kneecaps, her little toes, her little fingers, maybe on her elbows, she, cause she's just, I mean, she's just flush with anger, right? Just like, like she's so pissed off. <laughs> Whoops. Stress, and depression. Ugh. I feel you. Man, I don't know. It's, yeah. Ever since the uh, pandemic happened, I've struggled a lot with, I mean, because there's no, I, I love my husband, but swear to God, there's always somebody here. What do you call, I don't know, what do you call a 2D fairy? Oh, a little bit more dark red on this side of the, of the mushrooms right here on this side a little bit and a little bit um i need to let things dry a second i'm gonna i'll be right back i'm gonna go get that fairy in the jar to show you what started all this <sighs> you are just full of the corny jokes all the time. I completely need to tell. The day before the pandemic shut literally everything down. Last year, basically, how funny, you know, friends. Oh, can relate. Although I've lived here for a very long time, like 10 years, I never was, I've never been able to make any real good friends here. Um, because it's a very conservative area and I'm anything but conservative. This is my dead fairy. This is the dead fairy lot number. It's a specimen number GL00045. 
a genuine certified dead fairy. <laughs> no holes in the top. <laughs> and so that's what tipped me on this adventure this morning, was I was supposed to set up a still life and then kind of turn that still life into a an engaging illustration. Dry, 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 dry. Um, and that's why we are here. I am so sorry, Michelle. I totally understand what you're going through. Although mine is more kind of, I was already a loner and the, uh, the, uh, the pandemic kind of made it worse. And then now I'm here. I, I don't have any quiet time, which I kind of value my quiet time quite a bit. Uh, I just don't have any. I haven't left the house, so that's made my kind of already, um, I'm kind of already bad uh, agoraphobia worse um, because now I have an excuse not to go outside, um, which is is not great. So now I'm like like little dots on these rocks. They're just it's really just a funky necklace I had hanging out in the bathroom that I forgot to take upstairs. And, I don't know. I think I don't even think they're real stones, but they need a little texture here. So kind of boring. Yeah, a little bit of little roughness going on there. And then I still haven't decided what color. I need my quiet time too, and and it's 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 just rare right now um what color is her dress guys i don't i don't know what color to color her dress um, i think her hair is still a little too yellow we need to we need to do something with that it's a little yellow and a little dark I suppose I need human interaction. I think about it and I talk about it, but then I just don't because I don't know. I, I get I get nervous. I feel dumb. I get shy. I, f I, I feel like I'm gonna say something stupid and make everybody go away. Or you know, someone's going to say something shitty to me and it's going to trigger some old crap. And so a lot of times it's just uh, self-preservation, you know? Um, purple or green? Her skin is purple, so probably green would be a great, uh, a great color for the dress, I think. I do believe, Jamie. Thanks for that. I think a really crazy lime green, don't you think? I don't like to say stupid things. I hate saying stupid things. I don't like embarrassing myself. I, I do not. It, it, it just makes me incredibly anxious. I don't. I, I'm, a, I'm already an anxious person. I don't need help with that. Oh yeah, check that out, Jamie. That's fun. That's fun. Um, I went to the Wayne shows with Eric up in, uh, in was that Philly? And I, I had an okay time, but I didn't interact with anybody really. I didn't, I, I skipped to any kind of like if there were any meetups I didn't go to any <laughs> I mean you know what I think I need some of this green in these stones over here like like maybe just a maybe it should have been up there maybe just a bam 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 oh yeah that's nice 
Isn't that cool? Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to like that. It's, um, the lime is actually a, uh, a, uh, kind of a cheap, um, uh, gouache that I have. It was just like some samples I got from Amy Miller's Ba the other day. And I like the schminky, but man, this color is really on point. I'm digging it. Bam. Yep. I'm digging I really like that. I really like that. And then maybe because of her head being there, she's got some little shadow going on. A little dark over here. Maybe a little dark over there. Yeah, and this. And then maybe like right there. Yep. And um yeah guys, I just I don't know, I'm just I'm 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 desperate. I need to do something. I, I really want my work to count for something. I don't want it to just exist in the, and not do anything or benefit anybody else besides myself and a handful of friends. I, I really want my art to, to do something to inspire somebody outside of my circle. Um, maybe I'll make a book. Maybe I'll find a book. Maybe somebody will hire me to do a book. I don't know. But maybe a little bit of continuing education, which is what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually trying to find grants to take a, a, an actual college-level illustration course. I, I can't get, like, a Pell Grant or anything because I'm in default um, from trying to take school years ago and I ended up having to drop because of cancer um I, I couldn't finish and because of the number of classes that I dropped I I lost my ability to qualify for a um a, an actual grant so that kind of screwed me I got sick and screwed myself. It wasn't even my fault. It's not like I gave myself cancer. It was fucking thyroid cancer, you know. You don't you just get it just happens. It's it's genetic. Yeah. No, nothing really. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do have a, a mug that reminds me that it's not paint water, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> so right now I'm just, I make sure that my, my coffee is on a different, uh, different level of my desk, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I really like, like a drink of coffee right now. It'd be actually good. <laughs> Uh, this is messy guys I, I apologize I'm just you know this is just a little bit of play anyway it's not uh, it is an assignment but it's one of those like um like learn at your own pace so the chances of the instructor actually seeing this are pretty slim to fucking none uh, but it's something for now until I can get a grant to get into an actual class um, yeah you know what I did not finish the tarot cards I have to tell you I get so over freaking whelmed at the sheer number of cards. I mean, I already knew there were 78 cards, but my health being the way it is, I just couldn't commit to that number. 
um, I just couldn't, I couldn't commit. It was just not something, uh, you know. And that's why if, if people were like, you should start a GoFundMe. I'm like, nah. Because I know that sometimes my brain just doesn't, oh, my body doesn't cooperate. And I didn't want to, like, hurt anybody by, you know, going, hey, help fund this. And then not being able to finish. I feel like the illustration school, though, I mean, it's just, it's a five-week course, what I'm looking at. It's, it's not like years and years. It's a five-week course on, you know, how to get your work out there, how to translate what you already do into illustrations. And, you know, just tips and tricks. And, you know, it's just five weeks. I can commit to five weeks. I can totally commit to five weeks. I can't commit to five years. <laughs> totally can't commit to five years. That's just not happening. You know, and I don't think I have to have an, a degree to be an illustrator. That's, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, you know, give me an intense training on layout and, you know, give me some information on, on, uh, you know, publishers. What do publishers look for? What do they want? What do agents look for? How do I find an agent? You know, what do I need to do to get my work seen by the right people? Um, these are things that I don't care how self-taught you are. You just, you can't, you just can't know them. And, you know, without school, without those connections that you got with school, it's difficult to get very far when you're self-taught. That is the one thing that school gives you that being self-taught doesn't is is knowledge of who to ask and where to look because you just don't have those inroads that you got when you're when you're in school. Um, I said that's the only drawback to me in being self-taught. Why did I add green to her wings? I don't know. I just, I just did. So that's where they're at. <laughs> just did. Too bad. <clears throat> I mean, she's pretty close to done. I mean, how much do I really want to do? It's just a simple illustration, right? Um, let me get her little eyeballs in there. Give them a little. Give them a little bit more of a. Is this the one I was using? This isn't the one I was using. Yeah, I'm in it's uh Amy, it's a course taught by a, a very well known um British uh illustrator and agent. So I mean these people are in it, they do it, it's what they do for a living. So like you know, why not learn from the best, right? Um, it's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. It's like 500 bucks for a five-week class. Um, you know what? A little, 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 little guys out here. Little, little, little little bugs little gnats or something I don't know what they are but there's a few of them hanging out and maybe they're maybe they're other kinds of fairies or something we don't know we don't know where she's at I don't know She's just a little jar in somebody's backyard somewhere. Just chilling, you know. Oops. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> meant to do that. Totally meant to do that.
she's got a little necklace on too. Yeah. I think she's done, guys. I really do think she's done. Yeah, they're just little annoying little flies that are everywhere. They're just like little gnats, little annoying fucking bugs. I don't know what they are, but they're not helpful in any way. They're just annoying. And they get stuck in your sweat when you're working. That's what they are. They're so fucking little, little asshole gnats. That's what they are. Yep, I think she's done, guys. That was a quickie. That's what they always say, don't they? You're so cute when you're angry. And there's a little a better close up. In her little jar with her little things. She doesn't have a name. We'll probably have to name her. Um I'll put the uh I'll put a shot of the finished thing up there and you guys can help me name her. She might show up somewhere else. Really, thanks, guys, for, like, um, hanging out with me. I appreciate it. It's been a really crappy morning. I got some really shitty news, and I was kind of feeling like giving up. And uh, maybe just going to sleep and not waking up. And so I came in my studio, and I think I feel better. I think I feel better now. So... I love you guys. Thank you. I'm going to take off. Bye. Thanks, Allison. Thanks for stopping by, Michelle, Allison, April, Amy, uh, Jamie, um, who, did I miss anybody? I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, yeah, April, Allison, Jamie, Michelle. I love you guys. Doing my best. I'll be back later, maybe.